Week 8, problem 8. The flexible loop in the figure below has a radius of 10 centimeters and is in a magnetic field of 0.1 teslas. The loop is grasped at A and B and stretched until it is nearly zero. It takes 0.25, I'll say a quarter second, to close the loop. What is the magnitude of the average induced EMF during this time interval? All right, this is just crying out Lenz's law. Ooh, one thing to note, EMF right here. Oop, oop. EMF right there, volts right there. Bam. So EMF, just voltage. Don't think of it anything more than that. If I was in charge of life, I'd get rid of the entire word uh, EMF. I'd just call it voltage. Maybe even induced voltage if you'd like. Make it a little more exciting. All right, so I'm going to start by Lenz's Law. E equals negative deflux dt. Bam, got it. Expand it out a little bit. DBA. DT, okay, I got that too. Now for some derivatives. Negative dB dt times A plus dA dt. B. Click, clack. Bam! Got it. And I'll do equal. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pop. There we go. Alright, so looking at this guy. So magnetic field stays the same the whole time. There is zero change in magnetic field. So I know that dB dt goes to zero, which means this whole entire portion goes to zero. Now A on the other hand does not. Now we're not gonna get, we're just looking for average here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the area. Area equals pi r squared. We know that r is what is R? Ah, 10 centimeters, 0.1. So pi times 0.1 squared equals, so 1 10 squared is like 1 hundredth. So I'll do pi over 100, which equals 0 0.03, 1, 2, 1, 4. Bam, got it. All right, and T, so I'm going to say this kind of sort of equals delta A over delta T times B. So then area equals 0 0.0314. It's a quarter second, so I'm going to do 0.25. Magnetic field is 0 0.1. Hmm, I wonder if I can just, no, nah, I'm not going to do that in my head. So 0 0.0314 times 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.25. And we get, let's see, what do they want? Milla? I think they'll probably want milla. 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to say 12.6. I'll say 12.6. So then this guy equals. 12.6 millivolts. Bam! In your face. Yeah, that's all there is. This one is just, hey, here's Lenz's Law. Use Lenz's Law. Before you used it for a changing magnetic field with respect to time, now you're using it with a changing area with respect to time. And that's why I like to write the formula like this out every time. That way I don't have to know what thing is changing. Or heck, even if both of them are changing, I can then accommodate it. I don't have to memorize two formulas, I just memorize one formula. And I like to logic it out every time. Less, the fewer things I have to memorize, the better. So, oh, 12.6. Glance over the question real quick, make sure there's nothing obvious. Field, grass. So, and just in case it didn't get the idea of what was going on here. So basically they pull this up there, the insides move in, and the area on the inside goes to zero. Bam! Got it. All right. Problem eight. You pansy. I just crushed you, problem eight. All right, on to number nine.